He was a <laughs> tremendous outfielder, but he worked so hard on his defense, like Brian said, whether it was during batting practice, spring training. Yeah, he was out there having fun, but he was challenging himself to make catches and do things. Uh, and for a guy that was as good as he was defensively, to see how hard he continued to work at that uh, and to see how good he could be at it, that, that's the thing that I took away the most from Andrew. You know, we hit third and fourth in the lineup for a lot of years. And, you know, it's a great sense of pride knowing that when people came into Atlanta, they had to get out the Jones boys in the middle of that lineup. And uh, I, w I scored on a lot of his homers and congratulated. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so proud that our relationship has blossomed even as we, you know, are away from the game. When I was six years old, um, I want to play on TV. And, you know, with a lot of help from, you know, the coaches in Curacao uh, and the minor league and the major leagues, you know, I got the opportunity to make it. And, and when I made it, I told my mom, hey, your son is finally on TV. And she go, oh, great. Well, I'm going to bingo. <laughs> <laughs> she loved bingo, so that's... <laughs> As an individual, this is the finest recognition I've ever had. I'm so proud and so honored to be asked to join the, this galaxy of executive and playing and managing baseball stars. I mean, this is a great organization whose legacy and history goes back and measures up to anybody. To be invited to join this group makes me as proud as I can possibly be, and, 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 and that's how I feel. And I want to thank all of you for coming and sharing it with me. Um, this is a delightful opportunity uh, for all of us to remember how great the Braves have been and to continue to hope and pray and work, as these guys are all up here doing, that they will become great again, and I believe that we will.